also discovered that her strange eyes had the ability to warp primordial luz, the orange goo that courses through the brains and veins of human beings. And you saw that I was on holiday for this next part, so again, completely innocent of all crimes. So the little witch was sent on another mission, this time to... Can I help you? Just been given wobbly action man. She put up a good fight, nearly got one of the duchesses off, but a quick elbow dropped drop got her in the tub. Should have seen the bath water. It looked liquid. It's like liquid tuberculosis, like a chimney sweeps chamber pot. I thought I used too much of the hot tap for a minute. Looked like she was melting to the bone, all the gunk coming off. She's like three inches shorter than every direction now. Nothing like working with your hands. Make a trade of this. Charlotte Washer Inc. I wash your Charlotte at a lovely, reasonable price. Bugger, I do it for free just to watch that squirming, <laughs> screaming combination. Made <laughs> me ribs ache laughing so hard. Who are you again? Nutty Annie. Cannibal Darling. Amazon of Shire. Legs that go on forever and a smile like a smack face. Oh, right. I didn't recognize you with your hair down. Our story resumes with the Charlotte, with Charlotte assigned as a security for a school's excursion to the underground portal manufacturing factory known as Dunwich. I hate the voice I gave her. I hate it, but I'm stuck with it. Humans are scary, so little sisters must be on their bestest behavior around them. No snatchies, no ticklies, no being cheeky cheek love, big sister. So this is where you live, Lizzie? What's with all the pipes and stuff? Helps channel energy for portals university want. Baby sister build the pipes, energy goes down to brother Billy. Brother Billy comes with the portal, university use the portal. I know you had a brother. Yes! Brother Bud builds the pipe, big sister Liz manages the pipes. He's what you call a delegation of duties. Ah, my baby sister. Baby sister, come say hello. Who this? This is French Charlotte. She here supervise human activities. Um, yeah. Hi. Humans don't need supervision. Humans keep going in portals. Humans keep not come out. Humans don't need supervision. Human need brains. Tell me about it. So I'm gonna go patrol, make sure everything's going plan. Uh, whatever the fuck the plan is. Hurry! We need to go see Boiler Bill once human cooperation are made. Let's go! This place gives me the serious hippies and like all of the jeepies. Feels like I'm being watched by the walls themselves. You are. For every Dunwitcher out there, there's a hundred behind the walls building more of these damn pipes. And that's all they do. Besides, pretty y'all slow. They don't sleep, they don't eat. Just build pipes down to the basement and tune in the radio, yo. Is that true, Lizzie? I th thought you were just bigger versions of you. They got more me bits. But me and Blood really traded our meat bits for brain bits. So why would Quavo were? Because we gotta do all the thinkings. Me and Brother Billy are what humans call avatars of jokes. Rep senses of his will in the given dimension. But me and Brother Billy like to be cheeky cheeky and not do what we're told. Is it a good idea to be cheeky cheeky to a trans-dimensional god of knowledge? Yes! Especially since he can't do nothing since the people he would send to punish folks are the people being cheeky cheeky. You're probably the most adorable, mind-shattering cosmic abomination in the universe. Ah! Ah! Oh, hey, lady. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Why not? What's in there? where Dunwitchers congregate to communicate with Yogg 
but their psychic transmissions resonate so fiercely that humans can hear Yogg's messages too. We sent a prospecting team in there when the university first took control of Dunwich, 20 fellers, but only one came out sane enough to write a report. What did it say? The galaxy is lush and teeming, yet empathy is purely human. And he went home and shot his wife and kid. What? Well, shit, now I'm intrigued. Charlotte. All right, all right, I'll come back on my week off. <laughs> this one time before the sister got here, Yogg told Big Sister Lizzie about the dimension that the Dunwidgers can go to once they melted. I was super sad when I found out he was super lying. This place is pretty fascinating, right? It's amazing what an interdimensional slave race can do with a concrete facility and a little elbow grease. What do they mean when they say that pipes channel energy? The Dunwitchers can't articulate what it is, and the top brass won't tell us. Huh, Lizzie? Any ideas? Oh, baby sisters know how to build it. I just tell them when. Maybe Bob Billy knows. Seems like conspiracy is just piling up if you chill around here. No more to the what the fucks. Add one more to the what the fuck checklist. <laughs> Why doesn't the Mizotonic reverse engineer this technology? We could build our own portals right at campus. How exactly would you go about reverse engineering these fleshy eldritch pipes? Only the Dunwich can see any sense in all of this. And besides, the Dunwich don't get mutated by these portals, or at least not that we can see. Better to let them build them for us. Is that true, Lizzie? You guys don't get mutated? Nope. We ain't got the same mush as you humans. You ain't got no clompers, no road chunks, no hinges, no yog toppers, no wigglers, no brain bits. So why Dunwich are so scary to humans? Because humans ain't got the same mush. I got plenty of brain bits, thank you very much. Couldn't be solving all these occult mysteries if I didn't. Ready to go see Twin Butter Billy? Sure, I guess. What the is it this way? There he is, Charlotte. This is Twin Butter Billy. Hi, Butter. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, that's a horror. How the fuck is this twins? But uh, this is a fun Charlotte. She's one of the humans that you make photos for. Um. Sup? Anguish. Aww. Somebody got grumpy baby syndrome. Lament. I don't... I don't think that this is right. What's the matter? It's Billy. Yeah, but... Did he always look like that? He sounds like he's in a lot of pain. Torment! Wait a minute. I feel like I've seen this before. That's not Billy. That's a giant vat of primordial ooze. They're saponing it out of the goddamn air. Lizzie, step back. I'm putting a stop to this goofy bullshit. Ow. Oh, fuck. Fucking ouchy boo boo bastards that hurt. There's a dumb wish in there. We're gonna save them. With you, Spirit Lizzie. Just gotta, you know, nurse the shredded remnants of my eyeballs, which are like 40% in my head. Ouch. Cheering you on, Lizzie. L Lizzie? Um, okay. So I'm seeing double. I also my left by uh, eyeball has x ray vision because left Izzy has a. No bomber jacket. 
or pigtails, so I guess there's an the next pigtail version. This is the most sensible explanation. Charlotte? This is Twin Bubble Billy. I guess he was trapped in human marmalade till you let him out. Billy, this is friend Charlotte. Oh, uh, thanks for saving me. Um, no problem. So why were you in there? Did you know about this, Lizzie? Oh, he's always looked like that. We worked for the universe since we were born. Me and then we're pouring tests on see how his dumps would just talk to Yogg, but Billy, I guess they want to import us from. They stuck me in the ghoul right after I was born, after I said I didn't want to open portals to Yogg. They said they'd let me out after I opened a good portal. Sort of excruciating. But I never once did open a good portal to Yogg. Plenty of bad portals, though. Bad in betweens. Try and scare off the university. Never a good one. Twin Butter Billy is a boy Butter Billy. Why not just open a portal to Yogg and have him let her out? He's kind of a cockbag. <laughs> He's kind of a cockbag. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> we like this dimension. Yogg would ruin it. Then why would the university want to bring him here in the first place? Shit is dumb. Maybe they want to get all that Yogg knowledge. He does know everything. Even after that, team of prospectors went all crazy go nuts after hearing his messages. They do a lot of stuff, even after folks go all crazy, go nuts. It's why they go resource stations and blah, blah, blah. Well, in my humble opinion, this is all big old barrel bullshit. It's one thing to put yourself in danger or whatever for the sake of learning new stuff about evil stuff, but more, more and more, the university is forcing innocent folks into it, which is just as evil as the evil stuff. But using evil to combat the evil is basically the dumbest shit in the universe. Evil. Evil. Yeah, evil. I want answers. I gotta get back to the university and crack some skulls until I get an explanation for the whole crap. I can make portals send you back to university if you want. No more portals. At least until I can figure this shit out. Lizzie, get all the university staff out of here. Make some excuse for Billy being sick or something. Billy, make sure you don't get seen by any humans. I'm heading back to the university. That, for some reason, was the final straw for the little witch girl. To torture an innocent w little reality-ripping cosmic abomination was just too evil. The little witch girl's notion that everyone was inherently good were shut out of the canon of dumb nativity. At this point in the story, Eddie and me were drinking delicious cocktails on the beach out of big coconuts. The lesson here is that sometimes it's easy to avoid the apocalypse, just hide at the beach. So to recap, primordial ooze is the ingredient everything on earth is made out of. It's what's causing the mut mutagenic atmosphere in New England is what they were sucking out of people's brains in New Orleans and it's what Lizzie's brother Billy was imprisoned in at Dunwich. And it's what the little witch girl has been manipulating with her magic eyes all this time. But this story clearly has an happy ending. We? The little girl is alive standing right beside me, so it must be a happy ending. We? Well, you have to be alive to ruin everything. Which is what the story is about. So hush yourself. So the little girl, witch girl, returned to the university out for blood. But what she did not realize was that she was playing right into the hands of the bad guys. And if there's one thing intelligent university educated bad guys are good at, it's mental trauma. One shudders to think what... <laughs> I'm losing the voice. Uh, okay. One shudders to think what they did to the poor little witch girl. It was more enjoyable than being baptized in bleach by a six foot tall cogni gorilla. At least that's. At least they let me wear a street jacket. So try not to think or shudder about what I'm going to tell you happened to the little witch girl. Because you'll probably shudder to think too. And I'll, sh 
shuddering will emit a variation frequency perfectly attuned to the disintegration of concrete. And I'm not getting my coterie digging a bunch of audience members out of subsequent rebelloi. Wish I had rebel. Getting me to run around helping them to do all this evil shit? Whoop. Some ass, that's what I'm gonna do. Where the hell is the thirst? What's up, Charlotte? Ain't like you'd be stamping around and screaming. Where should I begin? <laughs> the university put Lizzie's brother in a giant vat of primordials to torture him into opening portals for him, convincing him the other Dunwiches into building a facility dedicated to s s I don't know, siponing ooze out of the goddamn air. I don't know what that word is. Which, by the way, is in the air thanks to the goddamn storage screw up on their part and rather than evacuating new england they let people get mutated in order to study them <laughs> and to top it all off they've got a new guy in new orleans kidnapping people and stealing news out of their goddamn brains with a giant goofy ass syringe so i'm gonna go punch a face shot char just calm yourself down a touch come sit down and explain before you get yourself shot f that i want some answers hence the punch in the face charlotte You've got arms like noodles and you've never thrown a punch in your life. I'll give you some answers if you just give me a second. Fine. Fine. Lead the way. Look. I hate this stuff as much as you do. That's why I came to work for him, because I figured I could change it from the inside. Kind of dumb on my part, I guess. These guys see witchcraft as amateur hour compared to their occult science. But when I saw that they were doing what they were doing with the primordial ooze, Charlotte, that stuff is amazing. Like second resonance for humanity, humanity, amazing. And that's why I put it in a good word for you, because it's only explanation for your eyes. Whenever you make someone forget something or make make them develop an eye twitch or blow up a cat you're messing with the ooze in their head i know there's no excuse for what the misotonic's done but they're on the brink of something incredible and you should be the key to all of it think about it rather than helping a few people around the world you could help all of humanity isn't that what our call is all about helping people well well don't say it all at once fuck you and i'm gonna punch you in your face that's what are right, yeah yeah charlotte are you fucking serious? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Tens of thousands of people across New England, Rumen, mutated. And you call that helping people, kidnapping people, and stealing brains, Rumen. And who the hell... <laughs> and who the hell knows what else? That ain't some hard sacrifice bullshit. That's straight up evil. Humans are supposed to be the good guys. There's enough monsters out there already. What the fuck are you talking about? Charlotte, please. It's, it's for the greater good. There it is, the greater good. Ruman, I'm gonna go find Theris. I'm gonna stick my entire foot up his ass until he shuts this place down. Hopefully it'll come to your senses before I have to shove my other foot up yours. Charlotte's my spirit animal. Oh, hello, Charlotte. What can I do for you today? You can tell me where the hell thirst is and explain to me why you put Lizzie's brother in a giant vat of goddamn primordial ooze. How about that? I speak for Dr. Valentine on all matters. You have no authority to speak to him. As for Billy, his refusal to cooperate with us led to his incarceration. He refuses to bring Yogg into our dimension, so you fucking torture him? You're aware that he ruins universes, right? He also contains all knowledge, past, present, and future of all dimensions and all universes within them. You understand why we considered him an asset for the this learning establishment. So rather than figuring out different, like, solutions, you just torture a little goat fungus thing until he does what you want? Or whatever the fuck Billy is? Yes. Clearly. Fine. I quit. And I'm calling the cops. I assure you our scientific inquiries are observed and permitted on a federal and international level. And you are required to give two weeks notice. Well then I'm gathering my sisters in the coven and there ain't nothing worse than a whole bunch of pissed off witches. F your two weeks. You got two weeks before my sister and me's come... <laughs> and shut this place down old school style try and stop me 
while nothing would give our staff more enjoyment than a gaggle of naked women chanting amateur hexes at us, you are contractually, contractually obligated to remain on the premises until your dismissal. And you are slightly too important to be dismissed. Oh. What, what happened to Johnny? Aw, oh, come on, don't be dicks. Johnny! Asshole. It's uh, proven difficult. Her eyes seem to be linked to her emotions rather than any manipulable cerebral mechanism. She has to want to do it. Torture? Largely ineffective, at least the ones we've used. Electrotherapy, transdimensional contact, tarant tarantral submersion, tar tarantral, so yeah. She's a weirdo. Apes bashing rocks. Well, we figured we'd ask you to look at her as a member of the staff with the least respect for humanity. Maybe you can get her to cooperate. Cooperate with the Runer. Cooperate with the Crumbler. Your pet pen. Mm. I like his voice too, and I fucked it up. For obliteration is a fascinating little quirk of the species. Fine, fine. I will make the witch girl cooperate. There are staff members between here and there that have documents on here, but. They've been passing them around. Something to consider before you talk to her. Completely unnecessary, but fine. I will collect your little documents. 